Hi, in this video of the complete Cucumber in Java course, I'm going to cover regular expressions in Cucumber step definitions. Coming up! Hey, thanks for being here. I'm Nilton Santos and I am an Oracle, a certified Java developer with over 20 years of experience and I am the founder of craftofprogramming.com. The craftofprogramming.com is an educational website focused on teaching general computer science topics, programming languages and software tools. If this is the first time that you are here, then please subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are informed every time I publish regular content. Also, leave a comment below and share this video with friends. Let's get started with today's lesson. So, um, as you know, we have been uh, utilizing Cucumber expressions as our step definition in um, Cucumber. So recall that all of our um, implementation of step definitions have been using cucumber expressions so uh, what i did here so that we don't um, you know waste any time i have re-implemented almost all of our uh, cucumber step definitions uh, using regular expressions so this um, lesson will not cover you know the concept of regular expressions it is um, is a concept that is way beyond the scope of this uh, focused course moreover there are a lot of um, great uh, tutorials available online on the web for free so this is not a course uh, where I'm going to teach you how to use regular expressions what I want to uh, provide is a capability of Cucumber, uh, as I say, whereby you can utilize uh, regular expressions instead of Cucumber expressions to implement your step definitions in Java. So this might be useful, for example, if you or, or your team have expertise in regular expressions and you want to leverage that expertise to implement your step definitions instead of using Cucumber expressions. Um, however, I will show you that um, Cucumber expressions are still uh, very valid and in fact you can use both Cucumber expressions with regular expressions, so both are not mutually exclusive. But anyway, as you know we've been using um, uh, Cucumber expressions to implement our uh, steps in Java. So what I did here, as I said, I basically re-implement the entire set of uh, step definitions using regular expressions so that we can compare and contrast regular expressions with Cucumber expressions. So the way you tell Cucumber that you are using regular expressions as opposed to Cucumber expressions is by, is by using the um, anchor. So beginning of um, sentence and end of sentence. So you use these two anchors and that signals to Cucumber that this is a regular expression. So um, instead of, as you know, the way we've been using Cucumber expressions is you just write it like that, just between uh, double quotes and that's a Cucumber expression. If Again, if you want to use regular expressions instead, then you have to utilize the uh, anchor operators, you know, begin and, and uh, sentence and end sentence operators. So now this is interpreted as a regular expression. So you would rewrite this a Cucumber expression as that um, regular expression. So um, the same thing with these, there is nothing special, as you can see they are, you know, you just put the anchor beginning and end um, statement or sentence and you are good to go. This one is a bit more interesting. Why? Because it has a parameter, right? Now, as you know, um, in the Cucumber expression, you just use curly bra you put string, uh, all lower cases, uh, lower case inside the um, encapsulated by the curly braces. That's how you know the Cucumber um, uh, expression uh, passes um, parameters. So in regular expressions, we we can use this form, right? or this. So actually, uh, 
only this is valid and let me explain to you why so if you were to define your um your regular expression by using dot star you know which matches you know anything from um you know this point to the end of the sentence then notice what is the problem here so if i were to look for um i search the book with title um let's search here yeah so notice that this regular expression matches this right but there is another one here that look, look what happens it also matches that right why well because it is a regular expression where as i say from the um, beginning of the you know this space after the word with title all the way to the end is going to be matched by this dot star operator right so you have to really be careful um, you know using just dot star uh, because it's a greedy capital operator in uh, in cucumber so in cases where you have steps that you know have uh, contains a string of another step like for example in this case I search for a book with title book one and topic computing I search for book with title you need to be careful when you specify regular expressions like that um, so you should really be doing that so this I'm escaping the double quotes and then I'm using a dot star and now if you see uh, this step is not matched and there is no ambiguity anymore in um, matching this step and this step is as you have intended matched by that regular expression there is another nuance that I want to point out that's um, about the um, about the capture in regular expression so notice something if I remove the uh, parentheses right you see what happened here let me show you again so I'm gonna put the parentheses and see what happens so in cucumber when you look at the cucumber test if it's rendered in blue then it means that it's a parameter that it is being passed onto your step definition whereas if it's everything you know just white then it's just plain text okay so again if I do that you will see it's just plain text now what exactly is the problem the problem is if you now try to run this cucumber test you will see that cucumber will complain at runtime saying that there is a mismatch between this step and the actual step definition arity in other words cucumber just sees this as plain text without any arguments but here you are mapping this um, regular expression with a method with a step definition that that uh, expects a, a parameter so let's run this for you to see what exactly uh, is going to happen what is wrong so you see here what's happening so cucumber is saying step i search for the book with title blah is defined um with one parameter okay that's your method however the gherkin step has zero arguments okay so again this is because the um the mismatch is here your regular expression does not have any parameter whereas the method is expecting one parameter so every time if you're using regular expressions and you have parameters you have to use the capture regular expression capture group okay now if you see now it's rendered in blue if i now rerun the the um the cucumber scenario you will see that it's going to pass okay so watch out for that now moving on with the uh, comparison of regular expression uh, and with cucumber here there's nothing special I find the book and as you recall we are using I find the book just with string nothing special I search for the most popular topic I search for the most popular topic nothing special again you just put um, you know anchors to signal that this is a regular expression here I find the topic I find the topic um, it's a similar comment that I made you need to because this has a parameter your regular expression needs to have the capture group um, one thing I want to point out here is maybe I'll talk about the uh, custom um, you know parameters uh, when I talk about the book because there is a nuance here which I want to say or a limitation I should say with using regular expressions um, so again that's just a plain regular expression um, where I'm matching the uh, int 
with a um, you know a digit and I'm saying I'm expecting at least one digit so with this plus operator you know one or more and uh, the corresponding um, um, cucumber expression uses the int parameter and this I don't found the topic similar to what we've seen before um, this again it's, it's very similar to what we had before nothing special this one is a bit more interesting uh, and different than the ones we saw because let's look at the uh, corresponding expression uh, cucumber expression here okay so let's see what is the what what are the differences and so recall that what uh, this operator does in closing within parentheses is basically indicating uh, to cucumber that this is an optional text in other words this cucumber expression will match book or books okay um, and the forward slash means alternative text okay so we covered this in the previous lesson but just to recap recap quickly here what this cucumber expression uh, matches is I have you know n book or I have n books or I have n title or I have n titles right so that's the four combinations by using optional and alternative text um, cucumber expression operators okay so in regular expressions what I did was um, you know because I didn't want to make this regular expression too complicated by encapsulating all these features of optional and alternative uh, text I basically split them in two where I am um, this is just basically using the optional and I use the alternative feature by using two steps definitions right as you can see so there's nothing special here again the int is being captured by this um, regular expression and then I'm using just you know the character group with the question mark operator you know, 0 1 to define the optional text okay um, so uh, moving on nothing special with escape sequences that we cover on the other lesson and uh, let's talk about as I said um, the um, custom parameters so just before that there is nothing special with the um, table of books and following list of books um, if you recall this was the um, basically the step cucumber step argument so with regular expressions that does not change um, you still use your regular expression with the open and close anchors and um, just like in cucumber expression if you remember here right you don't have to explicitly mention or you know the um, argument because this is uh, as we cover, you know, data tables and doc strings are implicitly passed from Cucumber to Java. So let's talk about one thing that is very, uh, I think it's where using regular expressions is a limitation in uh, Cucumber. So recall that we have, we introduced the concept of uh, custom parameter type. So um, we can define in Cucumber a custom type or a user defined type and we define that um, when we introduce the concept of um, you know user defined types and um, this was covered in the previous lesson but basically you enclose the name of your um, you know user defined type in curly braces using a cucumber expression and then you define um, a parameter type with a regular expression that captures you know this um, this representation of this um, user defined and 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 um, this parameter type is an annotation that um, annotates a method that actually is the factory for that user defined type so uh, one thing I want to mention to you is that um, this is you know one example where you should really stick to using cucumber expressions I mean there is no built-in way for you to uh, you know define these using regular expressions so my advice to you is if you want to continue leveraging any you know existing knowledge experience with regular expressions you know yeah you can use them in the examples I showed you but I would recommend to when it comes to using um, you know user-defined types to provide better compile time 
um, type safety, I would recommend that you stick with using Cucumber expressions, okay? So this is one example where we use the book and use the parameter type to define it. Another example is what, we, what I showed before, which I kind of skipped, and is uh, uh, the topic, right? So notice that um, the way we define the topic, if you recall, using Cucumber expressions, is by, just like we did with the book, we encapsulate or enclose in curly braces the topic, right? And this topic is actually defined here. It's defined here. So why is this better to use, um, you know, the uh, this versus this? Well, it's primarily because of compile time type safety. With this regular expression, you know, any text that you pass in will um, compile but then at runtime, you know, you will have a runtime exception if this text is not a string that can be converted into a inner, right? This in a way, this definition is exact the same thing as defining in Cucumber, you know, just this type of, um, type of, um, you know, Cucumber expression. This works, but as I said on the previous lesson, when I introduced the concept of um, you know user-defined um, parameter types, um, you know this may yield uh, runtime exceptions. So it's much better to define it uh, like that, so that as I say, you have um, you know compile time type safety. So just to wrap up, as I say. When it comes to user-defined types or enums, I, I would highly recommend that you stick to utilizing um, Cucumber expressions uh, instead of regular expressions. So moving on, just for completeness here, um, there is nothing special. If you recall, we had for... Um, where do I have the um, uh, cucumbers in my belly? Where do I have this so that we keep looking for uh, comparisons. Um, so it's the built-in parameter step definitions. Let's move it here so that we can continue to compare. So notice that this is nothing special. Um, I am just um, you know, using regular expressions to capture these parameters. And again, I would argue that just like user-defined types, um, when it comes to um, you know, non-string um, types, I would argue that uh, using a cucumber expression provides two benefits. One is, um, as I say, compile time type safety. And the other benefit, I think it's, uh, it's expressiveness. I think I can argue, and I think you might agree that, um, you know, expressing it like that, I have double cucumber in my belly. It's more readable and clear than implementing it like that with a regular expression, right? And the rest of the, um, you know, regular expressions here that it would match that, right? This is basically the corresponding, uh, you know, regular expressions and the uh, cucumber expressions, okay? Okay, just to show to you that the, um, you know, regular expression implementation actually works, let's rerun all our features. Okay, and as you can see here, all our, um, you know, feature set, entire suite of, um, of uh, cucumber tests that we currently have ran. Um, so, this concludes the lesson on how to use regular expressions uh, to implement Cucumber steps. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao!